statue of Livingston who discovered the falls. Here we're walking up to a view of it. Another really good view. Whoa! That's a stream. But way down there comes from the river, right? anything and it's really pretty over here. It's kind of raining right now. Whole point. It's so misty though you can barely see. It just keeps going. I can bump it. 
Here is the barbecue. <laughs> That's where we will be cooking monkey and boar. And here are the huts we're staying in. Yeah, this is pretty much what most of Africa looks like, according to our guard. And there's wild bamboos and boars all over the place. Baboons. I'm in the habit of saying bamboos right now. Not sure why. We don't have a back door. There's Lauren. Instead, we have a tent canvas wall. That we're supposed to close at night, so the bam, the bam, <laughs> so the baboons and boars and other animals don't get into the kitchen. And there's warthogs all over the place. There's one of the guards that supposedly protects us from the baboons and warthogs. And here's. Our home, each room is equipped with a white fan. It keeps us cool at night because it's really humid. humid. And there's some of the bottled water. Here's our kitchen. I'm not sure what we would actually cook here, but we have a kitchen with bars on the window. We have bars on the windows, a tent door, and our room windows are very thin glass. So I'm not sure what the logic behind that is. Here's the bathroom. We have a shower that works surprisingly well. A lot of water pressure. A lot of water pressure. And it was very warm, although you don't really need it to be warm because it's so hot here. And here is Lauren's loft area that I haven't seen yet. Not bad, eh? With her vaulted ceilings. I'm going, I'm just going to put on some mascara. My eyeliner will be lovely if I hit anything with liquid. What'd you say? It went down here. I wasn't putting it on up here. I was arranging some stuff. Here's our bedroom. It's a mess. With our African tapestries. And our vaulted ceilings that are full of spider webs. And there's our house key. They actually gave us skeleton keys. It's 
instead of normal keys. And there is the safe. And every single door in the house has a lock on it. There's a baboon just sitting on the side of the road. Jeez. Sitting there. This looks like that. No wonder he's fine. Oh, he's yawning. <laughs> Look at these teeth. He's an old one. He's just sitting there. Is he grayish or how do you know he's old? Just because he's sitting there? Just by the size of him, right? Yeah. Because he's so big? Big male. There's like yeah. four of them up there. I know, there's more. I thought you oh, meant the ones back in the, in the tree. tree. Yeah, yeah. Are those monkeys or baboons? Yeah, they're baboons. Look at There's a baby. Yeah. Hanging. Whoop, there he went. Oh, there's there. another one up there. Maybe he's the papa, huh? Mm -hmm. Open that window, Dave. Oh no, you can't put it that way. No, you can open no, that way. There's ones over there. Oh, man, these big there. males have longer canine teeth over there yeah. than a leopard. <gasps> Yikes. Longer canine teeth than a leopard. Right there. Oops, yeah. sorry, and they will actually kill leopard if they oh catch them goodness. abroad in the daytime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just sitting there, hanging out. Where is the They're so cute. There he is. Very similar, very similar, but you wouldn't you wouldn't get a jerk. Yeah. Okay. The, so the actual ropes that we use, you can see the ropes are at two different ends. Anyway. You've got two ropes that hang slightly higher. There's one rope that's hanging before you go. Okay. Now the two higher ropes, and then there's a dynamic rope. Those ropes have got a 10 percent stretch. In them. Okay. So the one hanging lower is a static rope. The static rope has got a 2.5 percent stretch. Okay, so what happens here is when you jump off the platform, all your, your body weight is suspended from the dynamic ropes. So as you go down, once you get to the bottom of your free foot, the dynamic ropes will stretch, okay, to the stage that they reach the static rope, okay, which will eliminate most of the jerk. There's lots of different ways to jump off the platform. Forwards, which is a pin drop, basically the most common jump. Hold on to the ropes, it's pretty much a step. Okay, then you've got the death drop, which is a backwards exit. Feet together, you don't hold on to the ropes, you just fall back, like you fall onto a bed. Okay, the next exit is the skydive exit, where if you jump out off the platform, into the skydive position, and you deal back, okay, and you just catch that air on the way down. And then the last exit, which is a uh, fairly new exit that we've come up with, is the handstand exit. <laughs> if you handstand on the end of the platform, two instructors on the platform, the second guy will hold your legs up, and keep you in a handstand position. You push yourself forward off the platform, tuck your hands inside your side, and you go down again. Here's Russ, getting ready for the zip line. Kevin, where you can see the background. Fancy. Yeah, he's going to go. Go over here. He's gonna. He's going. He's going. Down. There. He's gonna go. Just want to say goodbye to Sydney. He's a little bit scared. Family members. Why are you doing this? I said it'll be fun. Why are you doing this? Because I'm a follower and my sister's doing it. <laughs> yep. Watch them this way. Too scared. You guys didn't get very far. We're going to do it. I think my wife got the right idea. Jump first so you don't watch somebody else and chicken out. <laughs> All right, there they are, getting ready to go down.
now. Is she going right now? What is she doing? Oh my gosh. I'll get a close up, you can fall off. Yeah. That's not a good screen. Oh my gosh. Oh, I lost her. Holy cow. That's a long ways down there. I didn't know she was going so far. I didn't even. I, I lost her too. That was a good screen. <laughs> you can't get too close when you get busy. I know it. <laughs> that was a good screen. I'm probably pulling back up with something. And I don't want to get too close to the edge because it's scary, so I might not catch all of her going down. Um got this stupid hat on because my other hat disappeared. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think I'm going to do the zip line. Um, wish me luck. I hope I don't die. Ah! There's Russ. He's wearing my hat. He's, He's gonna, gonna do it, it hopefully. He's take that off. They'll tell him to take it off. There he goes. <laughs> Where'd he go? He's right down there. Over oh. there. I see him. See, now it's fun. Now you can loosen up a little. Well, except, I don't know, with heights. Definitely bigger than the black guy. Yeah, he's quite a bit bigger than the black guy. Hmm. He's proud of himself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> It's a bunch of warthogs. It's Those behind him. The, well, it's little. Uh-oh. I don't see it. It's a big five cents. Yeah, pretty nice. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, you know how much it is? We're moving now because people are trying to sell us things. Give me 40 US. 40, The warthogs again. Straight ahead. You know, I was thinking, we got... Look at how before. big they are. We didn't get a giraffe part. Mm -hmm. saw a giraffe. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Running. They're bigger. Little babies. Medium babies. Those are three juveniles. What do you mean a giraffe part? Uh, uh, some, They're some, everywhere. Some you cross like the street. Giraffe. Every time we're on the road, we see them. Break. Uh, They're uh, really cool. Look at their tusks. We got elephants? No, we got rhinos last time. So we got rhino bookends. That's right. We still have them. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh man, we have we had some monkeys here. Oh, they're chasing. Yeah. They're chasing each other. There's, there's another one. They're all over. There's monkeys everywhere. And here is the hotel, the lodge we're staying at. At least we're eating at. We're staying in smaller bungalows. Yeah, look, too, we're ordering right here. Oh, 
right down here. Yeah, we're gonna eat lunch in a minute. And here's the view. You can see for probably 20 miles here. And there's a big herd of sheep or deer, some sort of And here's the pool. Well, we're sitting here waiting for lunch and we spotted what we think is called a kudu. Darcy, yell. It's pretty big. It's probably six, seven feet tall. Okay, I came over here to get a better view of the kudu. And I think it's staring at me. Maybe that isn't a kudu. I don't know what that is. It's a six or seven foot tall deer. It thinks I'm a dangerous predator. And it's been raining for the past hour. And here's the place we're staying at, or at least the hotel again. And there's Darcy and David and Lauren. And we are staying in huts like these, except we're on the other side of the property. millipede on the ground just in the middle of the helicopter place just crawling around it's huge someone put something by it to show perspective put your foot by it look at how big it is wait put your hand back over it gross see it's big it's as long as Russ's hand We're on a cruise, sunset cruise on the Zambezi above yes, the falls. This is, uh, the water barrier, it's pretty wide. Mm -hmm. 
There's Russ taking pictures. Always. <laughs> There's Dad and Mom and Lauren and a whole bunch of Korean people. It's a super guy. So please, can they have some peanuts and banana? We can see hippos, crocodiles, elephants, and monkeys. Who knows? We'll see. There's hippos right there. You can see his little head. How cute! Oh my gosh, his whole head. Oh, there they are. There's the hippos. This guy goes to the level of Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Their little ears are sticking out of the water. Whoa, that's kind of scary. Um, that's kind of scary. Those things are huge. There he is going into the... Oh, now he got back in. There's a crocodile right there. She's floating around. <laughs> kind of like six feet, so his tail is just barely moving. It's about seven or eight feet. Can we leave the bottle on The best food is if you all as a gentleman, you are coming to Boma, the place of eating. This is it while I help you tell them for health care services. It while I help you drink the big rock. It while I present the variety of Shona and the traditional dance of Zimbabwe. Then the days are going to us called Monday. Monday is a red salmon dance which was done by the Shona people when they were back before the race. Thank you. Wildebeest just on the side of the road. Africa down here, and they just joined us just They're a few males. days ago. So this, these, most of the things we're seeing is the first time they've ever seen them. Oh, cool. So it's kind of it's kind of neat for kind of a privilege for me then too. Yes. To actually show some something to people for the first time. Big horns. Yeah, the zebras out there along the runway. That's really the first exciting. zebras they'd seen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> these are the first wildebeest. When we were in. We saw a lot of warthogs and baboons. 
pretty cool. Those long hair and, uh, and stripes. And some spring buck. This is what they use for digging here. This here. That's the, the bulldozer. These guys dig about two, three foot underground, eh? Jeez. Okay, and then of course when they land, they fold their wings up and they hold them inside. And they don't <gasps> bite you. Oh, yucky. No, they can't bite you. There the wings are. Kind of like on an aircraft carrier. Here's mm. huh. Okay. At this stage, as I said, I Elephant. don't think they eat. They, they eat the dung. They're in there. All right. All they do is they're collecting it like this, taking it away, rolling it away to attract the female, and then they will bring it underground where they will copulate, and then the female will lay the egg. Do you want to hold one? And then oh, no. Okay. <laughs> and try. There's butterflies right there. Yes. Yes. And it also got special hooks it's here. Really pretty. There's a water buffalo. There's, there's a, Don't it's move watching move. us. They're the mean. Zebra out there. Here's my buffalo friend. And then here. Oops. Is it a little giraffe? You see the other one off there in the there, distance. See, there's coming. another one off. A giraffe? Yeah. See, see off. Oh, yeah, I see him. Over by the zebra. Actually, it's and there's coming another this way. one. Yeah. Where'd he go? Oh, where'd he run? Oh, oh, oh. he's running. Yeah. More zebras over here. Yeah, and then there's. You guys should enjoy this buffalo while you can. We don't see a hell of a lot of them. So the buffalo is the guy you want to see. There's a zebra right huh. there. Do you really? want to walk up, Jeff? Sure. Yeah. yeah. We just followed. This is going to be bumpy because I have to watch where I'm going. I just followed a, a water buffalo who was running away from us. But we followed him. This is his trail right here. We just saw him. He ran away now. But we're going back to the thing. There's Well, we're stuck in the mud, and there's a truck coming to get us, and then there's a tractor. There we go. There's a tractor up there, and it pulls up. We're going to get in this car. We're just stuck. But we're going to get out.
Oh, something. As tall as the power lines. He's looking uh 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 It's like nope. Change my mind. It depends away on, from us. on areas. Like in the Serengeti, obviously you yeah, see millions. Yeah. So yeah. it just depends on. You probably find it's this is a. This herd is not the same every day. It breaks They're up. They're always women. The rhino's right here. There's two of them now. Whoa. Now he's going to look at us. Gosh. Okay, here we are. Uh, we should have done this one right when we first got here, but we didn't. Uh, we are in Zimbabwe at a place called The Hyde. And we got to do this quick because we have to go eat. But here is our tent. This is the typical African roof. Goes up to a point. And they have this nice tile inside. They're all solid teak furniture. It weighs about 200 pounds, these chairs. Over here, this is the honeymoon suite. There's no one else here, and so they put us in the honeymoon suite. And so there's a nice bathtub out here with a view of uh, the savannah. And that's how our door latches, that's it. There's only about 10 people within about 100 miles of here and so nothing's going to get stolen. This fan gets turned on at night to blow away all the mosquitoes. So this, these are big military tents. Here's our stuff, our bed. So far we haven't been bit since we've lived here. We've been here a couple days now. Go inside, the toilet. Again, it's all inside one big tent. But there's still walls. There's still walls. Here's our shower. And we are in the absolute middle of nowhere. Uh, it took us about three hours to drive here from a super remote airport. So it's pretty, pretty scary. That's our laundry. Anyway, we wanted to film this before we had to go to breakfast because we're going on an all day safari today and we won't be home until dinner probably dinner time eight. at 8 o'clock take two just found a dead this elephant is, um, sadly I watched it die Bones. I watched this particular elephant die it took three days she's a very old cow she collapsed here and she kept going around and round in circles and the one There's morning the I came with some guests to see if she was dead and I got up by her head and I was having a look and the next thing the trunk came around and grabbed me by the leg and it was pulling me. This was in a weak state. The power was amazing. Eventually I slapped on the head and she let go. Here's the 
the ostrich. I just stopped for lunch on a platform. There's one sitting down too. Do they nest out here? Yeah. But the chicks have grown up already. The first chicks we get around about uh, November. Why are they running away? Oh no, they're coming this direction. Crocodile. He's just sitting there. Can't oh, get yeah, any closer. There he is. Mm -hmm. All around. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so crocodile. There's a bird right by it too. Yeah. Maybe you'll see. He looks big. Here's the other one. Dude, they're both drinking now. Dude. Yeah. He's really spread apart. Is a giraffe drinking in the water? And a giraffe. And an elephant right there, just a lone bull. Is there a reason for that? No. I was taking a picture of that. It's darker in here. Crutch. Look at this elephant taking a bath. He's just getting deeper and deeper. It's very hot outside. Oh, that must feel good. We're walking up to a rhino. There's a tree in the road, so Andy is chopping it, so we can pull it away. Actually, did I already film? Today is when we leave. This is our last view of our back, well, front door. Yeah, today we're leaving the hide. Here's our view for the last time. Come out here. Last night there were animals right here, and then when we came, they just ran right over over Huge there. Water bucks and wildebeest were standing we're just right there 10 feet away. for a long time. All right, Darcy didn't want to show the walk, but I will. So we're on the very end of the complex. Each place has a bone. a bone sign made from some sort of scapula. Here's one of the other hides. And each morning we would wake up to drum beats and that lets us know that someone it's... Someone knocks on our door. Oh uh, yeah, someone knocks on the door and says, knock knock each morning no so we wake up and then after about an hour we'll hear drum beats and, and that way we know it's time for food. for food and right now we're the only ones here our guide left this morning so the hostess is still here and here's the big main complex. Here's where we eat dinner. It's 
psyche. There she is. Oh, she's... How are your feet this morning? Worse or better? The swelling is because of not having my feet elevated. That's we so might have, 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 have my feet elevated. Both lights had extra seats. No, I know. That's what I'm hoping, again, we'll do that. So right I'm, right when we get up in the air and we can move, I'm moving. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What can we do? Mm -hmm. They can well, have four seats. That'll be nice. Breakfast is ready, guys. Yeah. Yeah.